Welcome to Wallside Classic and Sports Car. Today we're pleased to offer a 1989 Vauxhall Nova GTE 1.6i 3 door in steel grey metallic. There aren't many of these on the road nowadays and I feel you'd be far pressed to find a better one than this. It's a one owner car from new with all original number plates, rear window sticker, bill of sale. It just does not get better than this. The car is immaculate. We have carried out some restoration a while ago on the car to the exact factory standards. I'll show you around the car and then we'll show you under the bonnet and we'll show you underneath the car on a small separate video as well as a run down the car, down the road in the car. Okay, if you go on ourmenisleft.com uh, you'll find there aren't many of these of any description, whether they're good, bad or ugly. This is a pretty one. It is all standard. No rolls in the parcel shelf or anything like that. It's totally standard. Okay. Steel grey, three spoke alloy wheels, factory sunroof, all standard equipment on the GTE. The car is just superb. Okay, just to show some detail of the car coming down to the front end and across the bumper and the grille, you'll see the original dealer number plate there, Man Egerton Senna Ives. I'll go slow so the camera picks up the colour properly. So there we are, come up the roof, all the rubber's good, patch of sunroof, these uh, drip rails are all complete, so often are they broken off and you can't buy new ones. Coming around the detail, into the vinyl, these are still the factory vinyls, they aren't replicas and they aren't painted. Okay, looking at the wheels. All in perfect condition, these little 14 inch free spoke wheels, such a nice wheel. Under the wheel arch, may just pick up, might not. I'll, I'll put it up on the lamp for you in a while, you can have a, a better look. But this is the standard of this car from start to finish. If you look down the car, the reflection of our showroom windows, it's laser straight. detail down these doors and everything, the rear mouldings there, looking up onto the wheel arch, again it's just superb, it's flawless. Okay, just inside the, uh, the door pillar, the vinyls extend as they should do, coming around the pillar, down onto the sill. Up into the door frame, showing the hinges, the check strap. It's perfect in every sort respect. Now at the bottom of the door. Totally unmarked. We'll come to the interior trim in a moment. Coming around the tailgate onto the rear spoiler. It's got the original vinyl on the back here. The original Man Egerton stick on badge there. The window sticker and number plate. Again, this is the original vinyl, it hasn't been painted on. And that's the rear bumper painted, textured rear bumper. Again onto the rear wheel. Looking down the side. Look at the reflection again, the panel line. As good as you can get. 
little indent there for the sill. Coming up around the door, window frame again, the window frame. Down the vinyls. There's a small crease on the vinyl just there. It's probably been there from new, most likely been there from new. There's a factory slide and tilt sunroof. And that's the detail coming around the window frame. The original aerial. That's the wing repeater lamps. Let's just look at the paintwork. It's just superb. We hope this is the most expensive little Nova GT that's available because it's certainly the best. Much rarer than the Ford equivalents. Again, look down the side there, the paintwork, reflection, the panel fit, everything. Okay, I'll show you in the boot. The original speaker's there. All the carpets on the back of the seats. And the panels, all the studs are all in there. Okay, these are the fixings for the carpet to the rear panel. I'm just taking them off so I can easily lift the carpet off before you travel up underneath. It's underneath on the floor pan. Everywhere was just hazed over a little bit of paint and everything back in the day. So there we are. The spare wheel is an alloy with an original Pirelli P600 tyre on there. So perfect. So I'll pop that down again. The rear shelf, the original one, the place now there's no holes in it speaker holes or anything. Okay, coming into the car, into the driver's side. First thing you'll notice is the dashboard is all original. Original radio there. Radio cassette should say. Mileage 42432. Set holders. This is a passenger seat we're looking at now. There is, this is reflection, it's not fading. It's a sunny day here in Lincolnshire. Okay, coming onto the driver's seat where you'd expect the, uh, the bolster to be worn. Nice surprise. That's coming down the upper and lower bolsters. There's absolutely no where whatsoever, it's not been repaired, it's all original and as clean as a whistle. In the back, carpets, that brand new, all the hinge covers are all there, the rear panel just in the corner there, it just has raised a little bit, just the vinyl has come unstuck over the years, bed linings in super condition. Sunroof blind all works well as you can imagine. The seats again in perfect condition. The rear of the front seats, no tears, no rips. Coming down the sills, again, all the screws are correct as they should be. Coming up the pillar there, that's the other side, just all right, brand new. Drives foot well. Not much to improve upon. This car, I would guess, is as close to a show winning car if you're in a Vauxhall competition as anything. Okay, the passenger footwell, carpets, just the same as the other side, all in lovely condition. The radio works, the code wants put in, we've got the code inside the glove box, everything there. So. 
So that's all. The only modification is this, which is a laser line alarm, which was fitted from new. All the door panels in perfect condition. Underneath the bonnet. The 1.6 fuel injected engine, not been messed around with, no silly blue hoses or anything like that. GM battery. Going across the scuttle. It's got a lot of the original wax on the top side everywhere. Coming down the wing tops, the wing line there. Just a little bit more detail for you. Bonnet pads in great order. So that's about it. So if you're interested in probably the best Nova GTE that money can buy, this could be the car for you. Give us a call on 01507 606 725 or visit our website polsideclassics.co.uk. Right, thank you. This little Nova GTE is very special in all ways around. The paperwork is no exception. With the car, we've got spare keys with the laser line fobs. We've got the, the V5 registration document showing no previous keepers. There are also MOT certificates, so 25 in total. There is also the original Man Egerton uh, dealer sales invoice and also the Andover receipt when the lady picked it up from Man Egerton. Uh, price when new, this car was £8,780. Loads of invoices and also the invoice when we. Uh, the internal invoice when we have prepared the car and everything. The handbook pack is all there, as is the Philips uh, coded stickers and radio code stickers, which normally were fitted on the side glass, is not being done on this case. The laser line alarm system, and also the ra radio passport there, which is quite important. The original service book is there, it's full to over brimming with, uh, with stamps, although the car's only done 42,000 miles. Um, all the pages are full there, as also are the next two pages also. So, all in all, you'd never find much more history on a little Nova GT if you could find a Nova GT. So, give us a call on 01507 606 725 or visit the website wallsideclassics.co.uk for more information. Thank you. Okay, just a little look underneath the uh, underside of this Nova GT just to show you uh, the quality we're offering. So starting at the offside rear now where the fuel pump is mounted to the underbody. Spare wheel well there. Okay coming onto the springs, onto the rear hubs, the rear axle beam, across to the near side the new exhaust, looking up onto the floor, again onto the uh, rear brake, inside of the rear brakes, it's got new rear shock absorbers. Okay, there's the handbrake cables out, fuel tank, to the rear suspension, mounting zener sills there. Brake pipes and brake mechanism there going across to the offside again. Fuel filter, that's the inner sills there. Looking down the sills onto the floor pan offside and the fuel lines. There it is, sight and rear. Okay, coming down the sills. To the front, there's the chassis rails, and jacking points, and everything. It's very glorious. Okay, that's the front offside uh, brake back plates, the bottom arms, all everything, all 
all the black and wax oil and everything. Coming through to the anti roll bar. It's looking up under the wings, onto the inner wings. This mustardy type undercoat they used back in the day. With wax on, obviously. There's wax on the bottom of the gear, but it's there from new. The bottom of the gear cases is all original. It does have a new sump on it because it's too shiny. Okay, back it up into the near side suspension, front suspension, looking up. Again, that's the inside of the wheels. The brake disc looking up onto the inner wings there. I'll drop the lamp for you. In a second, you can have a better look. So, absolutely super underneath as, as it is on top. I'll just drop the ramp. I will be a second or two. While it's coming down, you can just see the paintwork. It's super. Okay, we'll just have a quick look at the paintwork from this angle for you. Looking down the car now, down the offside, on the sill mouldings, the bottoms of the doors, look at the finish. GTE badges there. Right, up under the offside front inner wing. It's a treat there. Coming down the front bumper, low level. Near side front wing, under the wing. There's a bump suspension and everything, brake pipes. Okay, and again, paintwork coming down this left hand side. This paintwork was done in our oven. My man in there now is just busy doing a custom shoko. Taking them a year, but there you go. Okay, looking down the near side. Looking back up the car. Okay, under the arches there. I don't think I can show you the inside of this inner wheel arch. Or maybe can. If the camera picks up, but. Spot welds on the arches. Rear bumper again. I hope the sun's not blinding you, but I'm sure you can get the idea of the detail. This is under the offside wheel arch now. And fuel through the neck there. So that's about it. This one glorious, straight as a die, Vauxhall Nova GTE, one owner car, 42,000 miles, steel grey metallic. Visit our website, worldsideclassics.co.uk, or give us a call on 01507 606 725. Thank you. Okay, we'll give you a small run up the road in now a little Nova GTE to see what you think of it. So every day you get to drive a low mileage, one owner Vauxhall Nova GTE. Cars from 42,000 miles, it's all original and it's just lovely. Cruising sort of uh, 30 mile an hour in fourth gear now, just on the outskirts of Louth. Everything's good, everything's dead straight ahead. So it's totally original this car, all the radios, all original. It's all behaving as it should be in fifth gear now, sort of 30 mile an hour still. Steering's dead straight ahead. As you can see, I think well behaved in there. The oil pressure's all good. Just coming into round about now. Going down the gears, no crunches, no whines. The gearbox is perfect. It's a bit of uneven time out there, which doesn't bring up any suspension noises. 
first gear and away we go. Through the gears, second, third. Just accelerate and build, just show these little hundred horsepower ones went well in the day. Straight ahead, there's no wobbles, no vibration. It's just lovely, really. There's nothing not to like about this car. It's a serious car for a serious Vauxhall enthusiast. You would not find a better car for money if you could find a better car, full stop. So, if you're interested, please give us a call on 01507 606 725 or visit the website, allsideclassics.co.uk. Thanks for looking.